In this video, I'm going to go through the solutions to the questions on factorising and simplifying. If you want to try the questions, there's a link in this video's description. So for this first question, we need to factorise into a single bracket. We look for the highest common factor of 6p squared and 15p to the 5, that's 3p squared. And then to work out what goes inside the bracket, we consider what we would times this by to get 6p squared, that's times 2, and to get 15p to the 5, that's times 5p to the power 3. For the next one, we factorise out the highest common factor again, this time it's 9m squared. And then what would we times this by to get 9m to the 4? Well, that's m squared. And to get 36m squared, we just need to times by 4. For this question, once again, we need the highest common factor. That's going to be a cubed b. And then what would we times this by to get 2a to the power 4b? Well, we'd need to times it by 2a. And to get negative a cubed b cubed, you need to times by negative b squared. For this fourth one, it's the difference of two squares. The giveaway is the square numbers 9 and 4. This would factorise to give 3t plus 2 and 3t minus 2. For this question, first of all, we're going to factorise out the highest common factor. That's going to be 4x cubed. Inside the bracket, we would get x squared minus 25. But x squared minus 25 can be factorised further. It's the difference of two squares, which is x plus 5, x minus 5. So the full answer is 4x cubed times x plus 5, x minus 5. This question looks a little bit like a quadratic in its form, and it will factorise into two brackets. To get the 3x squared term, we're going to multiply 3x by x. To get the negative y squared term at the end, we need to multiply y by negative y. The only consideration you need is which way round these go. The correct answer is negative y in the first bracket and positive y in the final bracket, because this gives you positive 2xy when you expand. In this question, the bracket x plus 4 is repeated. We can factorise it out four times, since the lowest power is to the power 4. If we're going to get three lots of x plus 4 to the power 5, we need to multiply this by 3, and also one more of the brackets, x plus 4, and to get negative x plus 4 to the power 4, we need to times by negative 1. We can now expand what's inside this bracket here. So 3 times x plus 4 is 3x plus 12, and then we can simplify the 12 take away 1 to get 11. So the final answer is x plus 4 to the 4 times 3x plus 11. For this question, we need to make a substitution, y equals x squared. And also, if you square both sides of this, y squared equals x to the 4. We can now replace the x to the 4 with y squared. The negative 8x squared becomes negative 8y, and then plus 12. This will factorise nicely to give y minus 6, y minus 2. And now we can use the first part of the substitution to replace the y's in this with x squared. So instead of y minus 6, is x squared minus 6. And instead of y minus 2, is x squared minus 2. To simplify this, we need to factorise the top and bottom. The top would factorise to give 6 lots of x minus 3, and the bottom is the difference of two squares, so x plus 3, x minus 3. We can now cancel the common factors of x minus 3, so we get 6 over x plus 3. When we factorise the top of this one, we get 3x cubed, lots of 2x plus 1. And if you factorise the bottom, it's the difference of two squares again, so 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. The 2x plus 1s will cancel, and we get 3x cubed over 2x minus 1. When you factorise the top of this one, you get 2x, lots of 3x minus y, and on the bottom, you get 4x, lots of y minus 3x. We can cancel the x's here, and we can also cancel the 2 over 4 to get 1 half. So we end up with 3x minus y over 2 lots of y minus 3x. It looks as though this is all we can do, but notice how the brackets on the top and bottom are the same apart from the signs are reversed. If we factorise out negative 1 on the bottom, then the signs will reverse. So instead of 2 lots of y minus 3x, we get negative 2 lots of 3x minus y. The 3x minus y's can now cancel, so you end up with negative 1 half. If we factorise the top of this one, we get x squared lots of x squared minus 4, and on the bottom, x to the 4 times x minus 2. On the top we have this x squared minus 4 which can be factorised again. It's the difference of two squares, so we could replace this with x plus 2, x minus 2. You can now cancel the x minus 2 factors, and also we can cancel the x squared on the top with two of the x's from the bottom so the power reduces from 4 to 2. So we end up with x plus 2 over x squared. 
If we factorise the top of this one, we get 2x cubed times x plus y, and on the bottom, x times x squared minus y. x squared minus y is the difference of two squares though, so we could replace this with x plus y, x minus y. We can now cancel the factors x plus y, and also the x on the bottom can cancel with one of the x's from the top, so instead of x cubed, it's x squared. And we end up with 2x squared over x minus y. To factorise the top of this, we need to take out the factor of x minus 1 all squared. Inside a large bracket, you'd then get 4 lots of x minus 1, plus x. If you expand inside this bracket here, you end up with 4x minus 4 plus x, and then simplify this 4x and plus x, you end up with x minus 1 all squared, times 5x minus 4. If we now look at the bottom of the fraction, there's a common factor of 2 that we can take out first, which would give 5x squared minus 9x, plus 4, and then you can factorise this quadratic to get two lots of 5x minus 4, x minus 1. So we've now factorised the top and bottom, we can combine them together in one fraction, and we can begin cancelling common factors. The 5x minus 4 will cancel, and also the x minus 1 on the bottom will cancel with one of the x minus 1s on the top. So we end up with x minus 1 over 2. For this question we're dividing fractions. When you divide a fraction you multiply by the reciprocal, so leave the first fraction as it is, change it to a times, and take the reciprocal of the second fraction. We can now factorise, if we do the left one, we end up with 3x lots of x minus 2, on the bottom here is x squared plus 4 x squared minus 4, but the x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares, so that's x plus 2 x minus 2, and we'll leave the second fraction as it is, times x squared plus 4. We can now cancel common factors, these x squared plus 4s can go, and so can these x minus 2s, so we end up with 3x over x plus 2. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.